Now on RB Comics Radio, striking justice in the hearts of evil that lurks within the city of Memphis, the Spectre, protector of Memphis. Ungrateful rat muncher, lift your head. Let them see you shine. Beauty, savage. Don't get too close. She is still a beast. <laughs> Useless beast. I pull you out of the gutter, and this is the thanks I get. I should have let you rot among the trash. Nasty. Can't wait till James is old enough to get up here and... D'Angelo! D'Angelo, honey, can I talk to you for a minute? If it gets me out of doing this. What can I do for you, Miss Pearl? Captain Fuzzy Boots has gone missing. Wh who now? My cat! James was gonna come over and help me round him up to take him to the vet, remember? O oh yeah. Well, what happened? Would you believe it? He gave your boy a nasty scratch and he ran up inside the ceiling. I tried poking around with a broom handle, but he just wouldn't come down. Yeah, I'll ask James if he's seen him too. I'm sure he's still up there. He's just hiding. He'll come out. You're not calling your buddies in the department? Miss Pearl, with, with all due respect, I'm part of the homicide unit. I'm not, I'm not qualified. See, I knew that's what you <sighs> would say. But... I'm sorry to bother you with this, but you know that that cat has been my entire world since Marius died. Uh, well, I'll tell everyone down the station to keep their eye out for him, but I'm sure he's just hiding. He'll come out. But he hasn't touched his tuna. If he were really in there, he'd be all over it as soon as I crack the can. I'm sure he's fine. Cats don't stray too far from food if they can help it. But we'll keep a report open with animal control. We'll see what happens, okay? Oh, thank you, dear. I'm sure you're right that I've got nothing to worry about, but he's really all I've got left around here, you know? I understand. Take care, Miss Burrow. Oh, I hadn't been on Miss Pearl's missing cat case for long before things started to turn a little bizarre. This wasn't my usual cup of tea. Costume freaks and random thugs were like my bread and butter. But this, there didn't seem to be any crime at all. At least, none that I could see at the time. Huh, these covers are heavy. There's no way a cat could open one by itself. And even if he jumped down after some city worker with a tuna sandwich or something, his collar wouldn't have just fallen off like this. It's like it was, I don't know, neatly taken off or something. Why do you care so much about this cat anyway? I could care less about the cat. It's Miss Pearl I'm worried about. She loves the cat. 
She's done a lot for my grandma and us since we've moved here. We try and help her out too when we can. My mom takes care of her when she's sick and my dad scoops her sidewalk in the winter. Oh, oh man. What? Oh, that's gonna end up being my job this year. Well, you still got a while to worry about it, so don't sweat it until then, okay? Don't sweat it. Have your parents ever made you scoop a driveway, Tara? Huh? Oh, hell no. My dad just pays someone to come out and do that. Oh, well imagine having to dig your way through leaves. Except the leaves weigh at least two pounds each time you shovel them away. Yeah, I see your point. So what are we thinking here? Some kind of sewer-dwelling catnapper for the underground pet ring? Fine, fair point. Maybe I'm overthinking things a bit here. But there's only one way to find out. I can't even see all the way to the bottom. Well, that's encouraging. Are you sure you want to go through with this, James? We don't even know if he's down there. How do you even know he's down there? <laughs> now who's overthinking things? There's no black market for orange tabbies. As far as we know. I wouldn't be surprised if it was right there next to the drugs and the illegal DVDs. And besides, the collar was found just ways away from the forest. His paw tracks led right to this manhole. He probably just jumped down after some maintenance worker just got done and got lost in the tunnels. It seems like the most logical conclusion, but just be careful down there. I'm looking at the schematics and this place is a maze. <laughs> when am I not careful? But I promise I'll watch my step and keep an eye out for sewer gators. Sewer gators are a New York thing, James? Yeah, well, better safe than sorry. Not a lot of room to move down here. I'm gonna take a look around, though. How far do you think he could have gone? Well, he has been missing for three days. Okay, fine. He could be anywhere down here. But let's just put it in the effort. I'm sure Captain Fuzzy Boots appreciates it. Eh, I guess there's only so many cat names you can come up with before they start sounding dumb. I think it's great. We should put a cape on him and have him join our team. You know, that would probably work. If he weren't scared of his own sh- Was probably just a rat or something. Oh! Damn! It smells down here! What do you expect? It's a sewer. No sign of kitty activity yet? Eh, no, no sign of anything yet. Not even rats. Not that I like rats, but... I'd expect to see some by now. Maybe Fuzzy Boots got them all. No, I doubt it. He's a... What is that? Buttons? Huh. These collars and tags look like they've been here for a while. The leather is all warped. And I can't even read some of these names. Oh, it's giving you the creeps. Oh, and here I thought this was going to be a relaxing trip to a creepy sewer tunnel. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. James. <laughs> Tara? 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 Ah, oh, damn it! Just find the cat and get the hell out of this place. <coughs> oh, these tunnels, they just keep going on and on. Maybe... <sighs> Thank God they just cleaned the sewers last week. And yet, I hate to imagine what it looks like unclean. Can't be any worse. The water drips onto the cloak from the ceiling as my boots crunch on what looks like eggshells. I use part of the hood to mask my face as the sunglasses fall off from the fuse. It is almost impossible to see anywhere here. What was that? Is somebody down here with me? Okay, okay. 
Tiny cat, huge labyrinth of sewer tunnels. Your chances are not great, James. Maybe you should just... What? Fuzzy Boots? Where are you? Whoa! What is this? It's like a cave someone cut into the suit. But why would someone just dig a hole through a tunnel wall? And how? This concrete is like five feet thick. What the hell? There's squeak toys and cans of food all over the place in here. And a giant cage? Okay, James, find that damn can of book. Come on, Fuzz! Now's not the time to be hiding, you coward! All you do now want to start with me, Fuzz. Now is not the. What the? Is this a shirt? These are. This is a pile of kids' clothing. I can't let you take him. He is my kitty now. Ow! I shouldn't have turned around. Those eyes. They almost glow in the dark. Like a snake's eyes. Wait a minute. Her body. She's a... She's a snake woman? Oh no, that's impossible. No, no. I must be losing my mind here. I... I can't let you keep him. He doesn't belong to you. Oh my god. Why did I just say that? That was rude. James? James? What the hell is that thing? He still can't hear me. She looks like some kind of mutant snake woman or something. What is she doing? She's gonna kill him! I have to get down there! I have to find him! But what am I gonna tell his parents? And the police? If I tell them James is down there, it would mean giving up his secret. You'd have to move away, or, or worse. But I can't go into this unprepared. Someone online has to know something about it. Not much. But how is there 1800 websites on this? It's even on Reddit, but all there is is blurry Bigfoot footage. It's a start, I guess. It's not a great start. I just wish I knew what to tell people. If there's one thing I hate about comics, it's that there's always some secret identity thing in the way of being completely effective. At least the Caped Crusader had enough money to take care of himself and anyone else under his wing, but we're a startup at best, and novices at worst. If there really there was something I could do, learn... I highly doubt this thing is the spawn of the devil, and reciting Psalm 74 will kill it. Oh, where am I? This isn't my floor. Like it just got hit by a bus. My head is pounding and that flickering light isn't helping. Damn! Uh, is that my night vision acting up? No. It's coming from over there. A lamp? That's right. Someone was living in the sewer and they... What? You should eat those beans before they get cold. I even found you a spoon. Uh, Come on, it's just breakfast. It won't bite. Who... Who are you? Well, that's an odd question coming from someone in a costume. What are you supposed to be? A, a bat? I'm not a bat. Is it Halloween already? It's so hard to keep track of what day it is down here. I love Halloween. Well, maybe not all of it, but I, I love candy. Do you like candy? I don't have any, but if you'd like, I could get you some. Would you like that? It's not Halloween, and I am not a bat. Well, if you don't want any candy, then at least eat your breakfast. You tried to kill me, 
And now you're feeding me? Uh, I'm confused. It was your fault. And if I tried to kill you, you'd be dead. And you're not dead, are you, Bat Boy? For the last time, I am not a bat. Now is this my fault? You shocked me and tried to steal my kitty. I don't like hurting people, but I will if I have to. So, what did the owners of those clothes do to make you have to? I thought we were friends. If you're not a bat, then what are you? I'm... Uh, I'm the specter. Specter? That's like a ghost, isn't it? But you're just a normal-looking boy. Maybe even kind of cute behind those silly goggles. You could do anything you wanted. Have anything you wanted. Why would you want people to think you're a ghost? Uh, it's complicated. I have to be invisible to protect people. I have to be scary to keep criminals from coming back. Why? Because otherwise... The criminals will come back and... No, 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 no. I, I mean, why do you have to protect people? Why do you have to chase crime? You look like a normal boy. Why can't you just live like that? Because I know I can help. If I know I can help and choose not to do anything, then I... What? Wait, what happened to Fuzzy Boots? The kitty? He got away. I always knew that cat was smarter than me. Did you know that kitty? Was it yours? Oh, no, 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 no. But you never told me what your name was. Oh, they called me... Anaconda. Who's they? Anaconda? Ma'am? Madame Anaconda? I got some more food for ya. I just need to clean your cage while you eat. You know, you don't have to do that around me. There's no audience around, man. Sorry, I, I just... Was it a long day? Uh-huh. Rough crowd? I wanted to introduce myself, but... The master says... My body is the only good thing about me. Is that so? <laughs> uh, hey, don't cry like that. There's someone out there right here. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Um. Oh, I know what'll cheer you up. Ta-da! <gasps> is, is that... It's your favorite. Magic school bus. Where are they going today? Uh, are we going to find why blood looks red? Or why scales are shiny? Close. We're going back in time. They're gonna meet Anna. Annie. Anna. Annie. Annie? 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 Hello? Huh? Oh, what? You spaced out for a moment. What did you call me? Um... Annie? Annie? <laughs> well, because Anaconda isn't a real name for a person. It kind of feels like if someone just called me Human Boy. Plus, it's a mouthful. So, I just thought Annie would be more appropriate. Maybe? Annie. Annie. That sounds kind of cute, actually. Annie. I really like that. My name is Annie. Yeah? Okay, I'll carry that from now on. Hello? Tara? Tara, honey? Tell that son of us to get his ass home. It's late, and he's got school in the morning. Wait, what are you talking about? He left an hour ago. You mean he's not back yet? No, and his phone is going straight to his voicemail. Are you sure that he left an hour ago? Uh, let me see. Yeah, it must have been an hour ago now. I'm sure he's on his way back. Maybe his phone died or something like that. No, that can't be it. Unless he stopped somewhere else. It doesn't take more than 45 minutes to get from our place to yours. 
Are you sure he isn't doing anything else that could make him this late to come home? I think he said he was going to try and help Miss Pearl find Captain Fuzzy Boots. That damn ungrateful little bastard. He never did like James. Forgive my French terror. I'm just worried. He should have just waited until tomorrow. He was. I thought you said he went to help Miss Pearl tonight. I, I mean, he was, but maybe he saw him on the street and decided to just go for it before he gets hurt. But James wouldn't do that. He's usually so well thought out when it comes to these sort of things. If his phone was dead, he would have at least had home. Are you sure that you're not hiding anything from me? I could feel my mind racing with answers for her, but she negated nearly every one of them by knowing James better. What was I supposed to say? Oh, your son's dressing up as a street superhero and he went into the sewers after a cat. But don't worry, he's not dead. Yet. Yeah, no thanks. That's too dark even for me. No, I honestly don't know if he's looking for him or not. It's freaking me out, too. I'm sure he'll be home soon. And in the meantime, I'll look for anything from him. You do that. And don't go out looking for him. It's not safe. There's supposed to be a storm coming in, and we can't lose someone else. In fact, when are your parents getting back? Uh, they're on a plane back this weekend, but my aunt is coming to check in on me tomorrow night. Anyway, I'll let you know if I hear anything from him, or have him call me when he gets home, okay? Good night! Oh my god, James, don't make me lie to her in person. I'm not sure I'll survive it. Uh, I don't know how many days I've been down here, but it feels like quite a few. Little by little, I've been getting my body back into working order. Just doing things like standing up feels impossible. Walking without holding the wall is the harshest marathon. But I can move again. That's something. Occasionally, Anaconda has to go out and get things for me. I don't even want to know how she's brought some of the stuff she has. Baby aspirin, new blankets, food. Even those dog toys she had for her other friends. I made a sweep around the room a little while ago while she was gone. I partly used the bars of the cage I was in for support. Even though the little camping lantern Anaconda has flickers like it's about to die, I couldn't make a few things out about my enclosure. It looks like the cage I was in used to have wheels. There are four legs that stick out from each corner and end in a rounded spot where a wheel could go. The question is, where did they go? And how in the hell did she get it down here? Further supporting the idea that it might have been from a circus is the poster I found tacked to the wall. It looks like Anaconda managed to drive two nails through the old concrete down here. But the poster's pretty rough. All I can make out from the sun-faded lettering is Mad E Anna. I think it was maybe Madame Anaconda once. The border around it is a clever snakeskin print, I think. And there's a vague, sketchy outline of a girl from a lower half torn away. I would investigate it further, but a good four for the poster is missing. All in all, I'm not sure I should ask her about it. I'll try doing a couple of jumping jacks and see if it kills me. Normally with an injury like this, I'd wait and take it slow. But I've got to get out of here. Sooner rather than later. The thing I dreaded most is when the light went out. The dank, harsh smell was drying out my throat. I could barely scream. Going crazy down here. It must have rained last night because the water ruined the food, the blankets. It took a good crack of my ribs for Annie to bring me back. I somehow slept through the water. How was that even possible? My sunglasses had run down the sewer. No telling where it is now. Flashlight batteries are dead. It's so cold. Oh. 
Sometimes I hear cars nearby flinch. It hisses as she does. She shouldn't scare me as much as I am. She's been nice. Or has she... She's given me everything I need, but... Uh, I need to get up. I need to go home. Mom. Dad. What are they, what are they doing now? Seems so dizzy. <sighs> Ghost boy? Yeah, right here. Your fever is getting worse. Here. Stop! <coughs> what? What is that? Well, it's supposed to be medicine that boosts your immune system to help white blood cells kill the bad germs. I, I yeah, I know, I know. Wait, wait. How did you know? Well. <coughs> Any? <laughs> hey! Quiet now, Master! We're almost through this damn swamp! Hold your skin together! Damn it, Bobby! You know better than talk to merchandise! Jennifer, you mean you pushy around here? Don't tell me what to do! I'm serious! If you don't stop showing me around, then, we're going <laughs> Um, Bobby? Miss, Miss Chen? Hello? Is anyone- <laughs> Stab out! Out of it! <gasps> Ghost boy! I, I, I'm sorry. Here, have, have some more medicine. Wait, I- <coughs> I Come down, I live, I live! Oh, 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 why is there six spinning tunnels? I'm, I'm sorry. I think you're going to need some rest, Ghost Boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's okay, Annie. It's okay. You're you're a good person. I know you are. You're 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 so soft and pretty, and <laughs> you take care of me. <laughs> I I I want I want to take care of you. Really? Yeah. I think that would be nice staying here forever. <laughs> yeah. Forever and ever. And you're sure this is all you could remember? You didn't have any extra bags with him? Say anything out of character? You know, come to think of it, I did see something. He, uh, went off on his own to be that superhero you guys are always looking for, to discover Atlantis. No, for the thousandth time, I did not see or hear anything out of the ordinary. We hung out, we did homework, we ordered pizza, his mom yelled at him to come home, he went home. That's it, and I don't see how this gets James back. He left your house at, you said, 9.15 p.m., and walked in the direction of his own home. Yes, I remember it because that's when Boomer Action comes on. Okay, then. Thank you for your time, Miss Trent. Tara, are you absolutely sure there's nothing that might be slipping your mind? A car that you've never seen before? A smell? A person that might have given you a bad feeling? I don't remember anything like that. There was this one guy on the bus, but I think he was just drunk. Very well. Thank you. Please make sure to contact us if you hear or see anything. I thought they were never going to leave. Ever since James went missing, I've been doing research on this snake woman through the most feasible resources I can find. All the information says that the forest is where the sightings are most prevalent. My feet move faster and faster around the streets as I keep covered under the dead of night. My hair whips behind me as I run to the last coordinates that he sent before he dropped off. 
Okay. Okay, we're really gonna do this. Damn it, James, you owe me one. So, is it the Spectre or just Spectre? Uh, I guess either way is fine. Hmm. I think the Spectre sounds better. Otherwise, you're just another Spectre. You know, I don't think there's a lot of people lining up to call themselves Spectre. And come to think of it, I don't think there are enough people in Memphis willing to do what I do. The police force is always understaffed. My dad is always working really hard trying to catch the bad guy. I mean, there was this one time where someone tried to blow him up. That was crazy. But you do it anyway because you like helping people? But do you feel like you have to? Even if you get nothing in return? Even though you're getting nothing in return? Even though you get hurt so often? Oh, um... Yeah. Hey, Ghost Boy. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Huh? Oh, um... Well... I was just thinking about something. What is it? You can tell me. Well, I was thinking about what you said earlier. <laughs> oh, that thing about turtles looking like naked old men without their shells on? Oh, no, no, no. But thanks for putting that nightmare in my head for a month. Um, I was actually thinking about how you said you didn't want to hurt people. That's what you said, right? Yes. I don't think most people like to hurt others. Uh, okay, fair. But when you're keeping someone down here, don't you see that might be hurting people very much? Their friends, their family, you're hurting them too. Even pets have owners. Fuzzy Boots was really, really missed. They weren't alone. I was taking good care of them just like I'm taking care of you. I got them everything they needed. Medicine, food, clean water. Maybe you did, but when I came down here to get Fuzzy Boots, you were hurting his owner. And with my ribs... That was your fault! You hurt me first! Hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. Yes, that was my fault. I, yes, that was my fault. I should have watched where I was going. I'm sorry. I just want you to think about it like this. What about if someone comes looking for me, Annie? I, I know you don't want to hurt anyone, but I can't stay here forever. Why would you say that? I thought that... I thought you liked me. I just want what everyone wants. But it won't come to me like it might you. I have to take what I can get down here. Including... Friends. I do like you, Annie. You seem like a nice person, just misguided. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can both get out of here. We can tell them what happened, that you didn't mean to hurt me. We can explain everything, but you have to let the cop... No! No cops, no police. Police are bad. Police are... They... they... <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. They won't hurt you. I swear they won't. Rem remember, my dad is a cop. He's a good guy. I just... I just want you to see things from both sides. The longer I'm here, the more people out there are hurt. No! No, 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 no! You don't understand, and I don't want to talk about this anymore! It's okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. We, we don't have to talk about this anymore. Uh, um, let's just take a couple of deep breaths. Um, oh, you know what always calm me down when I'm really upset? Granny Apple Chocolate Chip Cookies. Your Grandma Apple bakes chocolate cookies? No, 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 it's a brand of cookie. They're the softest, sweetest, chunkiest cookies you'll ever have. Especially when it's just out of the microwave. Oh, it's so gooey. They make me feel so much better when I'm sad. Maybe we should try some. Hmm. I'll... I'll be right back. Oh, Celine. I hate having lied to her. Well, half a I love those things. But maybe if I go even for a little while, I'll get everyone to understand the situation. I've seen her use all the tunnels leading out from here, so I know they all lead to the surface. If I follow them far enough, the question is, 
Oh, she let me get that far. Could I even leave? She's clearly lonely and confused, but... Mom... Dad... Tara! I have to at least see Tara. Oh, 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 damn it! Oh, I'm still really slow. My body hasn't had enough time to recover. Oh, crap. Calm down. I was just going for a walk. Choir! You're just like the rest of them! No, that wasn't my intention! Ah! I feel against the cement of the sewer walkway. Her eyes seem to glow like embers in the dark as her fangs flash. Almost out of instinct, I look through my belt for anything that can help. Grab a gun? Oh, that's where we are. Pelts? No, those are too soggy. My hand grabs the pepper spray from my belt as a last resort when she charges at me. No! <laughs> Her eyes look like they stung under the aerosol application. Though I dropped it on the ground, trying to comfort her again before being knocked down to the sewer. The water from the sewer stings my nostrils as I try to raise my head over the surface. Ugh. Ugh. Trash sting in my eyes. The sound of hissing and yelling being muffled by the sea of waste passing by. I can't breathe. Where am I going? Where is the water taking me? Uh, what? What's, what's, what's the light? It looks like someone's dead, but I can't quite make it out. Wait, no, no, don't touch me! No, no, stop! Get away! No! Oh. Get away! Get away! Stop! Get away! Jake, Spectre! Spectre, it's me! Tara? Ah! Ah! ah. Hey, watch the ribs! Watch the ribs! I'm so glad to see you. I came down here to get you, and I thought fighting that snake lady would be a lot harder. T Tara, I'm really glad to see you too, but we really need to get the hell out of here. Right now. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, just... Got a little sick. You don't look too hot. Uh, here, let me help you. I really was crazy worried about you. I didn't know what to tell people. Your mom picked at my story until I just had to say I didn't know. You were gone for so long. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> uh, sorry for worrying you. I can't stay for much longer. She needs me down there. If I don't... There's no telling what will... What will... James! James, slow down, okay? You smell like poo gas. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have gotten poo purry while in the friggin' sewer. I know, I know, but what kind of friend would I be if I didn't give you a hard time about it? <sighs> yeah, yeah. But I, I... I have to get back and... Hey, maybe... Try getting better first. Your parents have been worried sick about you, and you can't go to them smelling like last month's hot wings. I... Okay, well, yeah. Maybe after 12 showers. It took some convincing from Tara, but she did help me shower and clean up enough before my parents came to her house. Managed to convince them that I had some amnesia and couldn't remember what had happened the past week. I got grounded for sneaking out though, which I'll honestly not complain about. I did scare them half to death. The crying face of my mom and even the too tight of a hug from dad was more than enough to bring me to tears. I couldn't stop thinking about going back though. I couldn't help think about how Annie was. How scared she must be alone. Lonely. Afraid. If I could only just go back long enough. Maybe I could get her to see how much better it is up here. People can't understand, right? Mmm. Thanks for the cookies, Miss Pearl. Won't you have another, dear? 
You look like you could use some more meat on your bones in a few more hours sleep. I don't think I've ever seen you look so barren. Alright, if you insist. It's impossible to stop eating these when you bring them out. I wish I could stay longer, but my mom is picking me up from my study group with Tara. That school isn't giving you some leeway? You were missing! Your mother told me that you had a few broken ribs and God knows what else down there. Yes, I'm sure, ma'am. The amnesia was pretty bad. I can barely remember that we had a test this week. Thank you, Tara. You still look a little peaked, though. Maybe you should get some more rest first. I appreciate it, but I've missed out on so much already. That and my mom would tan my hide if I don't make up the work. Well, all right, but try and stay within your means. I can't tell you how much it means to me that you got Captain Fuzzy Boots back for me, but I don't want you risking your health any more than you already have. And take some cookies for the road, at least. Thank you. I guess that was my fault. I just wish I could remember what had happened. The police started asking me questions, and I just... Everything was black. Can't remember anything. What did you call me? Uh, Annie? Annie? Oh, that's my ride. Thanks for the cookies, Miss Pearl. Anytime, sweetie. Hey, uh... Can I ask you one last thing before I go? What's that, dear? So where exactly did you come up with Captain Fuzzy Boots? So, Fuzzy Boots made it back? Yeah, he's fine. He's going to have to live with the knowledge there are giant snake women in the sewers, but he seems okay. He doesn't have to lie to anybody about what he saw down there either. Look, James, we've got to talk about Annie. <sighs> I know, I know. I, I sincerely think that we could help her. But I really do have to get back. Maybe... Maybe, maybe if I went down there... James, don't even joke. I'm not. Annie really needs help. You should have been there. Sewers, the muck, everything. She's been through a lot with no one there to know where or who she was. Which actually reminds me. Um, give this sealed envelope to my parents. Don't open it. It just tells them everything, you know? That way, you can pretend you never knew. Just... Keep it someplace safe until, you know. Should you really be giving me this on your front porch? It's okay, relax. My mom's inside and my dad is making up work for the station. The streets are empty and I think we're keeping quiet enough. Now's as good a time as any. I don't want to give up doing what I do. But I don't want to put anyone through what you and my family went through again. So just be prepared, okay? Okay. Dang, that was heavy. But, James, you can't just go back down there. I've been doing some research, and- She's a good person. She doesn't deserve being lonely like that. I have to explain where I am. James, calm down. Do you realize what you're saying? You were held against your will for a week, with the only contact with the outside world being a giant snake woman. I think you've got a case of Stockholm. I am not crazy. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying maybe you need to get readjusted to people again. You cringe whenever you see anything that looks like a puddle or hear anything that resembles a hiss. And to top it all off, you're begging to go back to your captor. I'm just saying that you're suffering from something and you need help. I'll... I'll think about it. That's all I'm asking. So, you mentioned some research before? Hey, Mom, we're going to study in my room. All right. Keep the door open. Uh, yeah. There was a story about a girl in the early 2000s who was killed in her own backyard, and that must be where the rumors of a giant snake in the sewers got started. So, what is this, a case of some sort of... Shao Tucker, alchemy kind of thing? Actually, she might have killed her. What? The article says, 
Although there are no suspects in the death of seven-year-old Katie Lloyd, police are still looking for the killer at large. The only evidence discovered was snakeskin and auburn hair incongruent with the Lloyd family DNA. The only witness was a homeless vagrant who described a snake woman who, quote, had scales that shined like jade in the sunlight, going into a working manhole cover. Investigators are looking into every lead, but does this mean that there is a giant snake woman in the sewers? The investigation continues. You can't prove that was her. James. I, I said no. There's no way she would have killed someone. Oh, so there just happens to be more than one auburn-haired, green-skinned snake woman living in the sewers, who's been down there since the early 2000s. You have to face facts that it's dangerous to go back down there. No, 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 no. I, I, I won't listen to you. I can't be... Ugh. You... You could have died down there. Your body could have ended up just like that little girl, and your parents would have found you on the slab, and your dad's friend would have had to cut you open just to make sure it was you, and who else, Who knows what else they would have found out. I know you don't want to face it, but you have to face that sometimes not everyone is worth saving. I... Thanks, Tara. I... I I needed the wake-up call. No problem, man. Now let me just get some of my books. I've been looking everywhere, and I can't seem to find it. Uh, Looks like they tore my room apart trying to find clues. I'm still trying to reorganize it. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't get to your snacks. My snacks? Your snacks. The ones on your windowsill. Did you just get these today? Granny Apple's chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, aren't these your favorites? Yeah, I told Annie about them before I left. Just to give myself an opening. You sure it wasn't your mom who got these for you? No, she doesn't allow food upstairs. Not unless there's a project or some study. You don't think she left them here for you, do you? I... I don't know. The better question is... How does she know where I live? Or who I am? I mean, I did find you without your shades. So maybe she saw you around after you left? It's possible. But how would she even know what to do with that information? And how did she know which room is mine? I mean, it is the middle of the day. I know that they weren't there before I left for Miss Pearl's. She's not exactly something you'd miss on the street. Well, you did say the streets were empty. Nah, I I wouldn't trust them. No, they came from someone in the suit. Why are you still eating them, Tara? I'm starving. All I had today was home sweet buffet and tasty pit stop. You don't think she'd try to poison you, do you? Nah, I don't think she'd poison me. Even if I did spray her with industrial pepper spray... I just don't think she knows much about food safety. James. No, Tara, I'm, I'm not going back. I promise. Just like how I know she's not going to stop taking things or people that don't belong to her. Hey, I know it's difficult to readjust, but you're going to get through this. Yeah, I, I know I am. It's just... It's a lot to go over. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, are you still with me? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Just must have spaced out for a second there. Well, maybe Anna, I mean, Annie knows that she can't keep going on like this. Maybe something you said while you were down there got through to her. Yeah, that's a comforting thought, but I'm not sure. I don't think she knows any other way to fill the hole in her life, where friends and family should be, and I don't know what to do about it. You can't save everyone, man. 
but think about it like this. You went up against a snake monstrous for a week. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. But if there's anyone who can bring her around, it's the crocodile hunter. But he left you in charge. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tara. That means a lot. <laughs> no problem. Now it's time for your next grueling endeavor. Oh? And what's that? It's five feet tall and made of math homework, take-home tests, and book reports. Oh no. It's my greatest foe yet. Reality! Oh, the humanity! Don't I get a pass on homework? I was kidnapped. Yeah, but you know if you said that, you'd have to reveal your alter ego. Oh, you're making me miss the sewer already. On the next episode of The Spectre, Fatal Probes. This is RB Comics' YouTube channel.